Today, in Malaysia, cars and motorcycles have become a part of the most important transportation, especially for those who live in urban areas. However, the wide usage of these fuel engine vehicles causes severe air pollution, which results in some incidents, such as asthma, haze, and even global warming. From the statistics provided by Department of Environment in Malaysia, the highest source of air pollution is the mobile source, which contributes up to 82 percent. In order to overcome the air pollution problems, researchers have invented various green technologies in automotive field, for example, the Tesla Model S. It is a car which operates purely on electricity, without a single drop of gasoline. EC03 an electric motorcycle produced by Yamaha company. Evivacity. An electric motorcycle manufactured by Pujiat company. And also, the e-bike from Audi. A concept electric bicycle which utilizes electric motor for propulsion purpose. for a fuel engine. It involves combustion of fuel in a chamber to produce forward motion. Yet, it usually gives out an efficiency of only 25% to 35%. On the other hand, an electric motor converts electricity from battery to forward motion. It is able to produce an efficiency up to 90%, which is three times higher than fuel engine. In every automotive production, Chassis dynamometer is an important equipment in measuring the performance of a vehicle. During the motorcycle testing, an operator is required to control the throttle of the motorcycle, while constantly monitor the screen to try to match the speed with the standard reference value. But a conventional dynamometer contains several drawbacks, which are expensive, heavy and bulky, and is manually operated. First, our design system starts with the computer programs which are VPro and Arduino softwares. Then, the program sends command to the Arduino board. Next, Arduino sends signal to e-bike controller to control the speed of traction motor. And also to the stepper motor to control the brake. After that, all effect sensor is utilized to sense the speed of traction motor. Later then, Two current sensors are used to detect the current signal from battery and from controller. And a voltage sensor to sense the voltage signal generated from battery. Finally, all of these four sensors send the data back to Agilent D8Q device. The advantages of our revolutionary tester are Automated Lower cost and portable. Total cost for a conventional dynamometer is around 60,000 ringgit. While the total cost for our system is only about 9,000 ringgit. And this is the demonstration for our new tester. The benefits gained from our project are such below. Promote greener environment. Support green technology development. Attract more researchers in relative field of study. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video.